Welcome to Mother Teresa Christmas Concert for 2020. This year certainly has brought its many challenges for our family, students and staff. However, as a community, we've come together to support one another. So our Christmas concert this year has been adjusted and presented to you in this format due to the COVID-19 restrictions that are still in place. Although we can't be together in person at this time, we can still come together virtually as a community to celebrate the Advent season and the end to a very unusual yet successful year at our college. The season of Advent is a time for waiting, a time of hope, a time of giving. It's a time when we eagerly await the birth of Jesus. We hope you enjoy this Christmas concert, which the students and staff have worked hard to put together and enjoyed. We wish all our families a very merry, blessed and safe Christmas.
A long, long time ago, about 2,000 years, when King Herod ruled Judea, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in the northern town of Nazareth. This girl's name was Mary, and she was engaged to marry Joseph. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Peace be with you. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. The angel then said to her, Do not be afraid. God has been very kind to you. You will give birth to a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son. Mary was afraid, but she trusted God. She replied to the angel, Let it happen as God chooses. Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was having a baby. He wondered if he should call off the wedding. Then an angel appeared to him in his dream and said, Don't be afraid. The angel explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son and would be called Jesus, which means saviour, because he would save the people. When Joseph woke up from this dream, he did what the angel had told him. He wasn't afraid and he married Mary.
this time, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was a part of the Roman Empire. The Emperor Augustus wanted to have a list of all of the people who lived in the Roman Empire to make sure they had paid all of their taxes. He ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from. This meant that Mary and Joseph had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, 150 kilometres away, because this is where Joseph's family had come from. Luckily, they had a donkey to help them carry their stuff, and Mary, on this journey. Mary's baby was due to be born soon.
When they reached Bethlehem, they had problems finding somewhere to stay as so many people had come to register their names for the census. Every house was full and every bed was taken in all of the hotels and motels. The only place that they could find to stay was in a stable with the animals. So it was in the, this place with the animals that Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. Oh my love. 
Mary wrapped Jesus in a blanket and placed him in a manger. hills and fields outside Bethlehem, an angel appeared to shepherds who were looking after their sheep through the long night. The angel appeared before the shepherds, and the glory of God shone around them. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, Do not be afraid. I have good news for you and everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a saviour has been born for you. You'll find the baby laying in a manger.
did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect love? Many more angels appeared, lighting up the sky. The shepherds heard them praising God, singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to everyone on earth. When the angels had gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem to see what has happened. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. The baby Jesus was lying in a manger. When they saw him, they told everyone what the angel had said. men who were also far away at this time saw a bright new star appear in the sky they were able to guess what this meant as they were very clever men the savior had been born they set out on a journey to find the new king the savior and bring him gifts 
They followed the star towards Bethlehem. The star they were following stopped and shined directly upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men bowed down and worshipped Jesus. They gave their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to Mary and Joseph. They returned to their home. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for the music do you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift the baffled kick opposing hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, your faith was strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and her moonlight overthrew you and she tied you to her kitchen chair she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips she drew the Alleluia 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 God above but all I ever learned from love 
was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you And it's not a cry that you hear at night It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It is the birth of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, that we celebrate on Christmas Day. For both Mary and Joseph, it was a difficult journey, but in the end, we were given the best gift of all, Jesus. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season.
Christmas to all our MTCC families, friends and community.